Okay, well this is my first off the cuff review. Um, if you're wanting something that's insightful and provocative and thoughtful, either don't watch me at all or go and look at my other account on Area Shifty Bun where I've actually got like my written reviews and things like that. What we're going to do here is, I thought it would be fun if I just close my eyes and put my finger on a DVD and I'll just talk about that DVD or that film. Okay, uh, so here we go, eyes closed. And here we go. What's this? How the hell did I manage to get a PlayStation 2 game? How the hell did I get a PlayStation 2 game? That is awesome. It's Pro Evolution 3, but we're trying to review a film, not a game. Let's try that again. Eyes closed, remember. Right, what is that? I'm going to end up wrecking this whole place. Okay, and... Fight Club. Okay, we'll talk about Fight Club. Let's see. Alright, so... Fight Club. Directed by... David Finch. Air. And uh, starring Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, I think Helena Bonacarta as well. Um, meatloaf's in there. Got to have your meatloaf. So anyway, this film is very popular. It was based on a book, um, uh, which I haven't read, and I couldn't actually tell you who wrote the book. Who wrote the book? Based on the book by Chuck Palahniuk. Is that, is that how you say it? I don't know. Probably Chuck Palahniuk fans out there that will crucify me for getting it wrong. Anyway, so Fight Club is a film that was out in, I think it was in about 1999, wasn't it? No, 98, was it? Um, this is going really well. 1999, so I was right. And it's really an attack against... Uh, well, it's an attack against, I guess, capitalism... But more so, actually, sort of extremist groups as well. My arms getting tired. Uh, the film follows uh, the main character, played by Edward Norton, who has basically bought into the modern lifestyle. You know, he has the uh, he has the sort of really nice flat with all the designer furniture and ha hangings in the wall and all this sort of stuff. And he travels around in a job that he just detests. It's an office job, but he also moves around. Um, <clears throat> gets sent out to like conventions and things like that. And he just he hates it. He hates it, and he actually wishes, or on a couple of occasions in the film, that someone would just end his life, um, just from the dull, just dull monotony of it all. So anyway, so what happens is basically he runs into a ca another person on one of the flights that he's on, played by Brad Pitt, <clears throat> and well, the flight's not played by Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt is the person that he runs into, and Brad Pitt basically takes Edward Norton under his wing, and kind of shows him the underbelly of society, you know, the other side of life. And what what happens eventually is that they end up living together and in this sort of old abandoned house. Squatters, essentially. And Brad Pitt forms this sort of group called Fight Club. Now, it starts off with just Edward Norton and Brad Pitt fighting each other because it makes Edward Norton feel alive to fight, he's exhilarated, he loves it. And then what happens is other people start joining up and basically what happens is you get all these guys who live the capitalist dream and have their day-to-day, nine-to-five job with the suit, with the tie, who and a shirt, obviously, a suit and a tie would be silly. And they meet up eventually in this basement somewhere and people get paired off against each other and they fight. And that's just it, that's the whole idea of it, it's Fight Club. They just fight each other and then they feel great afterwards and they embrace and oh, everything's great. 
But then it sort of gets even darker than that. Eventually what happens is the club then eventually becomes this sort of extremist group led by Brad Pitt and Edward Norton to a degree. But then Edward Norton eventually starts thinking that they're going too far and they're attacking <clears throat> they're attacking society a little too much or a little too literally. Um, and yeah, so that's really the sort of main idea of the film. I don't want to ruin it for you. It's got some great twists in it and some great ideas. <clears throat> uh, David Fincher's is just a wonderful director. If you've watched Seven, you'll know that he's just got a fantastic visual eye. Even Alien 3, a film that he removed himself from, is visually uh, stunning and, you know, a really underrated film. Um, he also directed Zodiac, which I think is a is a great film as well. You know, pretty much everything that he's touched has been golden. So, I would definitely recommend Fight Club, and I would give it, I would say, an eight point five out of ten. It's that good. It's really really good. Um, go and get it. I really recommend it. You won't be disappointed. Really exhilarating. Very funny. But also thought provoking and a really interesting sort of thriller as well. Okay, go and watch it, and that's my first off the cuff review. Bye!